I cannot believe we are just two weeks removed of the most significant political act of hell of my lifetime. I wasn't alive back when this happened to Ronald Reagan, but Donald Trump was shot at. Cory Comparator lost his life. Two other people were injured during this event, and the media has already swept it under the rug, okay? They're already trying to tell you that Kamala Harris, she was never the border czar. She's the most popular candidate. Everybody's flocking to her side. She is totally going to beat Donald Trump because she is younger and don't mind what you remember. Don't mind your lying eyes, okay? We're the media. We are here to set the tone. And what is Congress doing is Laura Loomer and her giant head has pointed out Donald Trump was just shot in the head and almost died. And what is Congress doing? Yeah, leaving and not coming back. Well, that is also after they finished grabbing their ankles for Israel or Netanyahu's joint address, but they made sure to get that out of the way before they pieced out for the rest of the summer. Yeah, they don't seem to care about accountability. This is unacceptable. They need to stay in DC and work. No, yeah, they would you like them to get to the bottom of that stuff, but then again, you know, like Secret Service head already resigns. Uh, that's kind of like taking responsibility and accountability, right? Right? That's what it's totally about. We could just let the, you know, hey man, if Congress, if, if, political class isn't going to do the work isn't that the job everything that falls through the cracks isn't that the responsibility of the fifth the state to go ahead and simply pursue objective truth objective truth like donald trump might not have been shot after all they are lying i i was anticipating 2024 to be an incredibly crazy election cycle i didn't think that they would try to lie to our eyes this blatantly in this short of a time frame donald trump was shot two weeks ago he might not have been shot at all but of course this isn't newsweek coming up with some speculation okay this is of course them relaying some a testimony from fbi director christopher ray noted trump advocate right that um don't believe your lying eyes don't believe this what was it new york time or new york post picture of yeah catching the bullet mid-flight which is an absolutely crazy shot but don't at all don't at all you know pay attention to that stuff but christopher ray said on wednesday that it was uh not clear whether former president donald trump was shot at or hit by shrapnel when a gunman opened fire at his rally in butler earlier this month a week after the shoot yeah see earlier this month you can't say you know on july 13th okay but they'll go ahead and reinforce into your mind that january 6th was an insurrection whether you like it or not that october 7th was one of the most consequential dates in middle eastern history but they can't get july 13th straight go to hell a week after the shooting the trump campaign released a doctor's note from representative uh, ronnie jackson what what uh who served as trump's white house physician and said that trump sus uh, sustained a gunshot wound to his right ear go ahead and bury that not in the headline not in your first clear era clarification tweet but in your third ray testified in the house judiciary committee uh, that it is not yet certain if trump's injury injury was caused by a bullet or shrapnel no no it was he's got a physician's note for christ's sakes we see the bullet in the art in the air we've seen a person die two more get injured bro they're lying to you let's take a look at this article by Kalita Rahman. Yeah, she looks exactly the way that you thought she would. Uh, FBI Director Christopher Wray said on Wednesday that it is not clear whether uh, former President Donald Trump was shot or got hit by shrapnel. The FBI is investigating. Oh, great. The FBI, the same one that also investigated Hillary Clinton and decided, yeah, she did some crazy stuff, but no, no reasonable institution would charge her of anything. Or they also investigated uh, Joe Biden for any wrongdoings and said that, yeah, he's not mentally fit to stand trial, so we can't do anything about that or that same fbi knocked down the doors of mar-a-lago only for it to be revealed that they tampered with evidence in order to get a photo op that fbi thank god investigated the july 13th shooting uh that killed one rally goer cory comparator say the man's name trump was rushed off stage with a bloodied ear right it's just a bloodied ear oh i'm sorry yeah he was rushed off stage in the words of what was this cnn after loud noises erupted or were they the ones that ended up saying that yeah trump fell on stage it just I i'm just wondering what we're going with here i uh, he said that night that he was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear he's that uh he said he heard a whizzing sounds, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through his skin. In a post on Truth Social, a week after the shooting, Trump campaign released a doctor's note. Yes, it said that he was shot in the ear less than a quarter, uh, 
quarter of an inch from entering his head and struck the top of his right ear. Trump is doing well and recovering as expected. Yeah, but Trump, but on Wednesday, ah, Christopher Ray, noted PhD, right, uh, testified that the House Judiciary Committee uh, that it is not yet certain if Trump's inju- injury was caused by a bullet or shrapnel. Oh, okay, uh, shrapnel. What on? What in the blue hell would a round have hit between the open air from where Crooks took the shot to where Trump was at? Where on? Uh, how could it possibly be shrapnel? Like, just wrap your head around that. To the best of your understanding, how close was the assassin's bullet? Yeah, come to killing uh, President Donald Trump. Representative from California, Kevin Kiley, asked Ray. Uh, Ray repri- er, replied that his understanding is that the bullet or a piece of shrapnel is what grazed Trump's ear. Oh my God! Representative Jim Jordan, the committee chairman, asked Ray if all eight bullets were fired from the gunman had been accounted for. We obviously know that Mr. Comparator lost his life. Two other rally goers were injured, seriously injured, and the one that hit President Trump. Does that account for were some of these individuals hit multiple times? Jordan asked, uh, "Where did all eight bullets go?" Is I guess my question. Ray said that he did not have the information on hand. Oh, good, yeah. Heaven forbid you have all your facts before you head before the House Judiciary Committee. As I said, I think with respect to former President Trump, there's some questions as to whether or not the bullet or shrapnel that hit his ear. So it is conceivable, as I sit here right now, I don't know whether the bullet, in addition to, you know, uh, causing the grazing, that could have landed somewhere else. This is absolutely absurd, man. This is arguably worse than the Kim Cheadle testimony, okay? Or yeah, she just wouldn't take responsibility. Christopher Ray is making a hoax up in real time, okay? Okay, hoaxes that are being debunked left, right, and center, but that's just going to end up fueling a bunch of conspiracy theories, okay? The ones that we've seen on the day where, oh, God, that's just as much of a work as professional wrestling. Trump went down, he had a blood pack in his hands. Didn't you see him grab his ear and then rub something and then throw something on his podium? Okay, oh, it's just the, the blood is too perfect. That's on his face. He bladed, brother. Don't worry about it. Oh, and then he had Hulk Hogan at the RNC. How much more obvious does it need to get? He's taking inspiration. Or this stupid thing that I hadn't seen around before, but apparently there is some absolute brain surgeons that are out there not thinking that um a round coming that close to somebody's head should have caused brain damage? What the what the hell are you talking about? Okay. If I see one more idiot, shout out Brandon Herrera, the AK guy, okay, one of the preeminent firearms experts on social media in general, uh, would have caused the brain damage that close to Trump's head. Uh, yeah, I'm going to film a 50 caliber BMG passing next to me and showing how the lethal shockwaves are a myth. The amount of people I've seen pair at this, no pun intended, blows my mind. Yeah, yeah, man. And now you're going to see people running with the Christopher Ray narrative that it was just shrapnel. I don't know why Trump is making this such a big issue, okay? But Ray said on Wednesday, yes, the FBI would work tirelessly to get to the bottom of what happened. We know how tirelessly and how thorough the FBI has been in recent years. But what was Trump's response to this stuff? Because it's, like, I, I don't even know, man. Like, this is so stupid. Like, I can't believe we're at this point. Trump lashed out at Ray over the suggestion in a Truth Social post on Thursday, uh, while also denouncing the director for not saying during the hearing that he observed cognitive decline during his meetings with President Joe Biden. FBI Director Christopher Ray told Congress yesterday that if he wasn't sure if I was hit by shrapnel, glass, or a bullet, the FBI never even checked, but... He was sure that crooked Joe Biden was physically and cognitively uneventful. Wrong. Very wrong. He should be fired. I'll fire him. Boom, you're fired. No, it was unfortunately a bullet that hit my ear and hit it hard, he continued. Uh, There's no glass. There was a shrapnel. The hospital called it a bullet wound to the ear. And that, that was it. Or that is what it was. No wonder the once storied FBI has lost the confidence of America. But yeah, you're seeing in real time one of the first hoaxes of this election cycle. I'm wondering, okay, because we're supposed to have a debate. What is it in September between Kamala and Trump? If that, if by that point in time, this is going to be one of those mainstream Democrat talking points and she's going to bring that up during the debate. Because here you have, yeah, investigators are examining numerous metal fragments found at the scene to determine whether a bullet or potential debris hit Trump, according to a report published by the New York Times. So you have Newsweek started, New York Times 
Times parrot it, and then all of their denizens on social media run with it. Trump wasn't actually shot at. It was just, what, a little 44 caliber IED? Is that what we're going to be going with? Okay, because it's just as stupid. It is just as stupid as the hoaxes that they're trying to run on J.D. Vance. Kind of crazy, because I got a video coming out in the, in the near-ish future in regards to one of the hoaxes that they were running on Mike Pence back in 2016. But the first one for J.D. Vance, the childless cat, or cat lady hoax, says that J.D. Vance hates women without children. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's the other thing that's going out there. The first time I seen that, and I pointed that out, and I think it was during the uh, J.D. Vance-specific video the day that he got the... T- yeah, got the tab. As Trump's running mate, Marianne Williamson was saying that, oh yeah, J.D. Vance, off he, he thinks that America is run by childless box wine enthusiast cat moms. And it's like, well, if you just go ahead and see where all the popular Democrat talking points, uh, like who, who champions them the loudest, you know, the man-hating childless bachelor's degree holders. And it's like, well, the man's, uh, <laughs> that's bad in a thousand in my book. But in reality, J.D. was talking about people who choose not to have children, not people who want them. Or yeah, they're twisting your words. Twisting, hell, reality from Trump not getting shot to, yes, uh, the obfuscation that Kamala Harris, uh, she was never the border czar, as Gunther Engelman is pointing out. 2024, given how desperate the establishment is, they are going to be running in over a drive. So make sure to make uh, make sure that your mind is clear, that you have your references pulled up, because whenever something seems a little bit off, you're going to have to go and check. If you had any faith in media coverage, go ahead and check that at the door, even more so than usual, because they're going to be lying. Oh boy, and they're going to be lying a lot moving forward. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.